Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to day 21 here on the 25 Days of Christmas War. I am your host, Moon616, and thank you once again for dropping in. Alrighty, so yesterday I did the classic from 1984, Silent Night, Deadly Night, and you knew it was coming. I had to do this one because it's only fitting. And this came out in 2012. Um, yeah, it was late 2012, I believe. And it is the so-called remake of Silent Night, Deadly Night called Silent Night, uh, directed by Stephen C. Miller. He actually directed a movie that came out, um, I think it came out in 2012, but was released in 2013, called Under the Bed, which I actually really enjoyed. I thought that was a cool little creature feature movie. Um, yeah, this one right here is starring Malcolm McDowell and Jamie King. Jamie King seems to really like to do her remakes, I noticed. Uh, she was also in the My Bloody Valentine remake, and she was in the Mother's Day remake. Um, yeah, Mother's Day being kind of on the same level as this one, uh, a remake kind of in name only, really. Um, but yeah. Uh, getting into the plot of this one, uh, this is basically about, it follows Jamie, uh, Jamie King's character. She's a, uh, a deputy sheriff. Um, she... At the beginning of the movie, gets a phone call from her boss, played by Malcolm McDowell. He's the sheriff of the town, uh, to come into work on Christmas Eve. Now, she wasn't supposed to be working this day because, you know, it's a hard time of the year for her because it's her first Christmas without her husband. And, uh, but anyways, he doesn't give a shit. Malcolm McDowell's character is, he's quite a hard ass in this. Doesn't really give a shit. He makes her come in anyways because what had happened is, uh, their one of their officers went missing so they had to fill in the spot and because they have this you know this parade thing going on in the city or whatever shit might get hectic so anyways she comes into work and um basically what it is is you got uh the santa claus going around fucking murdering people uh you know teaching people lessons because they're naughty and shit like that so all hell breaks loose in the town and stuff and now it's just a big police it's a big in, uh police investigation to, you know, try to solve who the fuck this Santa killer is in the city because he's going around fucking massacring people and shit like that. And uh, that's basically what it is. Um, the story comes full circle by the end of the movie. You see exactly, or you find out who the killer is and you also find out why he's doing the killing. Um, but yeah, you know, my thoughts on this one. Um, now, this is, it's a pretty good popcorn flick. Uh, it, this is not a great movie by any means. Uh, pretty much a remake in name only. It, I mean, it doesn't have any... It has homages to the original film uh, based on... You know, it's got the catatonic father part. It's got the, you know, the famous antler kill and stuff like that. But as for story-wise, I guess it kind of comes full circle in that way. But as a developing story, no. It, it really isn't. It's just kind of... It's kind of, you know, random killings all over the place. And then the story comes, like I said, full circle in the last shot of the movie, basically. Um, this one, it's got really good kills. It's got pretty decent kills in it. I, I do like the fact that most of the kills are done differently. There's a really cool scene with a, with a wood chipper I really enjoyed. Um, but it, this movie, it, it suffers, though. You know, it suffers from the lack of, you know, fun characters. I mean, Malcolm McDowell's character cracks me up. He's definitely not likable. He's a total asshole. As for most of the characters in this movie, no one's really that likable. I mean, honestly, you don't even feel that much sympathy for Jamie King's character, the deputy sheriff. You know, you can tell that she's going through a rough time, but her character is just kind of thrown into the mix and not really developed a whole lot. You don't really get to feel exactly what she's going through because, you know, the story doesn't come full circle until, like I said, the end of the film. So it kind of it kind of leaves you wondering throughout the whole film, like what exactly you know happened to her husband, what the fuck is going on. Um, but besides those points, man, this movie has really it has a really bad screenplay. I mean, honestly, the lack of story and the really fucking shitty dialogue. Honestly, there's a scene in this movie that every time I watch this movie, it makes me laugh. There's a scene where Jamie King's character and Malcolm McDowell the sheriff, you know, the, the deputy sheriff are talking, and she's trying to explain to him her theories on what the hell's going on. And he basically just says to her, you know, you gotta stop overthinking this shit. He's like, you know, you don't put avocado on the burger, you gotta keep it simple. <laughs> I'm like, what? Who fucking wrote this screenplay, man? It's ridiculous, but... And then he keeps going on about putting hummus on burger. He's just using these weird analogies and like, oh, it's fucking stupid. But yeah, the, the dialogue is really poor in this film. 
uh, you know, the characters I killed, obviously, do not give a shit about it. I mean, it, it's kind of like the very first Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, because the killings are so random, because it's Santa Claus going around killing at random. Uh, not really at random, I guess, he's picking out people that are naughty, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, the kills are enjoyable enough that it's enjoyable to watch, I guess, but, you know, I can see why people dislike this movie, um, because... I mean, if you're looking for a full-blown remake, it's more of a remake in name with elements of the first one. That's really what it is. So, um, you know, overall, uh, I loosely, loosely recommend this for hardcore slasher fans that really like the, the holiday horror. Um, like I said, I don't think this is a great film. At, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it about a 6.5 out of 10 just because the kills are good enough. Um, and Malcolm McDowell's character cracks me up. He's so unlikable that he, he's in, he's that he's likable for some fucked up reason. Um, I just wish that the story had been told different in this. I don't like the way they developed it into the last scene. I, I thought that was kind of shitty and poorly done. I wish they had kind of stuck with the same elements as the first film and developed the you know showed the backstory in the beginning of the film and then you know kind of you know move the story forward right to the end because I think that works a lot better. Uh, but you know what? If you want to seek it out, if you've never seen this, you know, definitely give it a watch. Um, I wouldn't recommend paying a lot for the movie. I remember when this Blu-ray came out last Christmas. I actually got this for $9.99 brand new, so I didn't really pay a lot for it. So, uh, But yeah, 6 out of 10, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Day 21. Or Silent Night, not Deadly Night, Silent Night. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. There's, Like I said, there's some decent enough kills. Uh you know, and, oh, I will touch on one thing. It is pretty sleazy. I gotta say, this movie's pretty fucking sleazy. There is a scene with, you know, a girl running around before she gets killed, and there's lots of gratuitous nudity in this, I gotta say, uh, which is kind of a plus, too. You know, you can kind of throw that in. So it does have a sleazy moment. Um, it also has such a... It, it also has a very fucking dark kind of feel to the film. It doesn't feel as cheesy as the first one. And, uh, you know, it just has, it has a very dark overall feel to it. Uh, right from the opening scene actually kind of develops that atmosphere. Um, you know, there's a scene in the beginning where, you know, this guy's getting tortured, basically, you know, gets killed and stuff. But the way they did it, though, and uh, the killer's walking up the stairs, he shuts off the light, and you can see this fucking Santa Claus that's glowing in the corner, and the camera's up in the, up in the corner. I thought that that scene was really well shot. I thought that was really brilliant, but it just kind of develops that dark kind of atmosphere to the film, but it's definitely not a, you know, a cheesy kind of film like the first one is, but film, the first one has so much more, oh, character than the, than this film. Um, it just has a lot better feel overall. Anyways, I'm just going on and on about this. I could talk about this movie all day. I just don't want to fucking have this shit go on too long. But anyways, Day 21, Silent Night remake, apparently. Um, yeah, Mood 616, Silent Off. If you've seen this one, let me know your thoughts on this. I, I, I know this one is, gets very, very mixed opinions on it. Uh, some people love it. Some people hate it. I'm kind of right in the middle. I don't think this movie's great. I don't hate it, though. It, the kills are good enough for me to enjoy, so... Day 21, guys. Thanks for watching and commenting. I'm sorry this went on too long. I'm just blabbling on. Peace out, homies.